Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Map 2 is very quickly upon us. I'm Pineapple Phillips, joined by Boggs. Nouns put on a masterclass on their opponent's map pick, dominating over past 16-6. And now we enter their home pick. It is Nuke. Nouns start on the T side, of course. It is their map pick. Therefore, party astronauts have their side of choice. And Nouns are just going to run out the ramp. Three players here. There are three to defend. Make that four as the cavalry has arrived. And kills... Actually go in either direction, but they end in favor of PA. I say that B was on the exit, finds two more. No business finding those. And we're back at even footing. And CJ is working his way into the A side as well. He might get the drop on Sixie. B will seems to know somebody's in lobby. Sixie's trying to hunt him. He's backstabbed by CJ and B wills all up to Viz. And they know where he is. Bomb can go down on A momentarily. Planted for Mini because they know again his fast rotation is through heaven. Up the ladder he climbs. But Viz is expected. Both nouns players playing passive, holding the time. The hourglass is running out. MB Wills might just be the pistol hero. Viz, former teammate of B Wills, needs to. Does not have a kit. No kit available. And nouns are playing the time to perfection. It's almost gone. They will go one by one. They will swing out. Not even on the bomb. Doesn't matter. CJ takes the fight. Nouns win the pistol. And it's B Wills a hero. No way should he be able to fight his way out of ramp like that. There's two players waiting in the elbow for him to go for the cross, and he dispatches them both. That was dastardly. The peek from Viz doesn't come through in a timely manner either, so he's free to get away scot-free. Very solid start for Nouns. I would expect nothing less given their dominance on map one. Party astronauts, though, they don't want to let that go quietly into the night. They want to clap back immediately. Scout, SMGs, and a pair of 5.7s challenge the likes of nouns in round number two double max and a mem and a galil for nouns and they'll look for two in a row to kick off this second map of this series their pick of course was at 16-5 yesterday between these two teams in the open qualifier for this very tournament and of course the personal spotted and removed gets a dink onto cj but that ak surely will be going to one of those smg laden players cynic actually gets caught by the 5-7 that'll be an upgrade as cj was trying to toss away that ak to a player with more hp he'll sit on, on a galil now and a mac 10 will rest on the ground two for the price of one for nouns chop jump spotting down towards b bomb in limbo between a and the b set in the secret tunnels and two more nouns players working their way out or yard. Lots of time on the clock, but they will have to make a decision soon because if you go way too late against pistols, things tend to end poorly. Yes, they do. It looks like an A split might be on the cards. Is is wrap? here towards mini. It might be a hell wrap. Seems like it. the scout makes its presence known, but Ponolan doesn't hit the shot. He does the second time around. Two players, although that nade could do a lot, and it takes down Siege. A good kill to find. Tied ball game now. The riflery still favors the T's, but HP definitely favors the defenders. Marky pressuring in towards Mini. Doubles back, finds one good kill onto the SMG wielder. Ponalone, though, has rotated around towards the lobby. This is still anybody's round. Ten seconds left. The plant has to come down shortly. And will Marky clear new events? That's the question. Tag from the scout comes through the door. On a kill, though, and Marky with the Mac 10 swings through, finds that. Ponalone now in a 1v3. He's found the first, but no armor makes things all the more difficult. B wills from up top. The scaffolding finds the kill, and nouns convert their pistol round, albeit by rather slim margins. It was a four spy, though, from the party astronaut, so this one should be a little bit easier for nouns to deal with. SMGs for Carson and CJ, presumably. And PA should not be investing too much. Armor and 5.7 for 6E. We'll see if anybody else follows suit. Carson? Okay, there's the MAC 10. I was wondering what he was going to do. Four AKs and a MAC-10 up against USPs and a 5.7. 5.7 really the only major threat. Oh, the Zeus is out as well. This adds to the threat level here. We saw a Zeus in the last series. I don't think Ben's going to get a Zeus just yet, though. It's just harassing with utility right now for now. It's doing a lot of damage, walking into A, throwing their own bits and pieces in. Three kills in a matter of seconds. And only one player left standing for party astronauts is the one who bought up with the armor in the 5-7, the man soloing the ramp at 60. There's players on the outside hunting for him. This one. Looking like it's... 
Looking Sweet like it's one. gonna be another watch of a round for party astronauts and a three round streak to kick things off for nouns. Very solid start. The twin six he's gonna try to save his Kevlar for the following. If Gun greets him though, he won't be afraid of it. Right, fight CJ, it all depends on this fight. Nope. No such luck, CJ. Finishes him off, gets the 5-7. Clean 3-0 start, and now a very scary bonus for party astronauts. Sure, they'll have rifles across the board, but they're going to go up against four AKs and one Wily Mac-10 in Carson's hands. This round is going to be by no means an easy one for party astronauts. Op is out, but no early targets yet for Poen alone. Molotov's clearing up top hut, smoke towards mini, Viz counters one towards single door. It's been blown away. Spam traces back, and Viz will eliminate cars. That was just the Mac 10. There's another one from Viz of the Beewolves this time. Trace and the tracers from whence they came return to sender achievement unlocked. And right now, Nouns are just hemorrhaging with no real contact, no real damage. Unfortunately, Not on the spammers. Start. Not a good start. Mm -hmm. At least they get Ooh. an upgrade, or at least they lose the Mac 10, I should say. Cynic, though, the head's viz. His brain's rattled around in the brain bucket. Three versus four, still difficult, but much more doable. Question is, will Ponalone's op land? Good flash, blind shot, but he doesn't clear it. Marky's also full blind, and Chop comes to his senses quicker. CJ will get the trade, but the advantage remains, and the nade is a double from Ben Lee. CJ and Cynic both sent away from the round, and Hardy Astronauts, not as slow to start here on Nuke as they were on Overpass. They do get one on the board with the first rifle round. Was a little bit costly, though was a tad bit costly, and they took advantage of some pretty... <laughs> just middling play from Nouns, just sitting in angles trying to spam, and getting traced right back. Not exactly the best of a T-set round for Nouns, and they'll have to be better if they want to be able to establish a strong lead in this half. Both teams are stronger on the CT side of Nuke, as you would expect. Outer yard control, the game plan for nouns now. Deep smoke's being thrown. Counter need from Ben will do a little bit of damage. His spray does him as well. Six, he eating it though, but he still domes. Cynic tosses flames to cover his retreat. But there is a player down the vents. Marky can catch Sixy off. Maybe event rotation two from another player, but Sixy still holding around in tunnels. Getting spammed away on expecting a player down to the back lines now, I think, or he's just waiting for a smoke run. Either way, the second need to 5 HP. CJ gets caught by the AG, though. Marky gets caught by Chop. Carson only one. And despite having all the positional advantages, now it's come up with only one kill. Next to nothing. That does a lot for the CT economy, a lot for their confidence. They're only one away now from tying it up. And nouns, their economy's in the dumpster. No bomb plant means they're on a save. Probably like a half by maybe some Tech Nines and some Deagles, I dare say. Looking at you, Marky. This should be a third for party astronauts. In fact, it's going to be in, I was going to say a near complete save, but no, CJ splurges on an AK. We've seen this a lot from nouns. One hero rifle with a half by slash save surrounding it. I guess they're going to try to Congo line that rifle around when he falls, but it's a very curious call that we've seen made quite a bit from nouns. A Glock kill though, works out. And an upgrade there for Cynic. Oh, unbreakable spam and chop, and Viz will now chime in. The Nouns players are getting mopped up one by one now. Only one unfortunate kill going to go the way of Nouns. And Marky's kind of just left to contemplate his choices in life and towards ramp. Well, the timer ticks away. He's looking for somebody to hunt for him, but I don't think party astronauts are going to oblige. They have bomb. There's no reason for them to hunt for him. Although Six, he seems to not want to wait the rest of this minute out, and he's going to go for a bit of a probe. Won't matter though. Swift retribution delivered by Danny. Marky tried to leave his mark in the round, just a little love tap instead. Six, he's actually at 41 armor, by the way. 
Ooh. Lots of damage done by that Glock. And nouns. A lot of work ahead. It looked very good at the start. Three in a row. Three in a very quick, brisk sprint at that. They've now been brought back to Earth. Yeah, but that Mac 10 on CJ. Tiro rifle didn't come to fruition in the round prior. Four AK surrounding. Straight outside smokes. Chop, though. He's going to take the fight to his opponents. Running it down towards Africa. And a second to player back red in Pono on the off. It's migratory on Nuke, and it is a menace. It drops CJ alone. That Mac 10 taken down. In the meanwhile, though, Nouns are making inroads towards A. If they're quick enough, they might just beat the rotation of party astronauts. Nice spray by Viz. Zixi adds another one. Nouns able to get anything done again. Looking a lot more like their T side against Detonate, man. It's just. It's looking like Nouns have reverted. They had a really good overpass, and now on Nuke, their T side is a little bit. Dry, just flavorless, no salt even. Obviously no pepper, no cayenne. Ben with the spray on the car hits a lot of damage, and he almost finishes off B Wills as well. Bone alone should have the kill. Breaks the glass, but not B Wills, who adds another one. Winnable now for B Wills, but he gets caught by Sixy, who comes down the ramp in the nick of time. Ben was vulnerable, or rather, Pono was vulnerable. The party astronauts, four rounds in a row, able to get themselves a lead here early on in the CT side of Nuke. Pistols out for nouns, and I would assume a timeout going to the following gun round, unless they're able to get a round on the board in a very aggressive fashion with the Tech Nines of the Deagle. Nouns very good with these kinds of weaponry. But party astronauts starting to settle in to this map, starting to settle into the CT side. Detonate and ATK map two has just started. And looks like Detonate's on the board to win a pistol round, which would be very good for them as they lost that first map, their own pick to ATK. But right now, Sixie could get hard pressed if they run through this smoke. Needs to be careful. And you mentioned Nouns should probably call a timeout. It would behoove them to do so, but we have not seen, I don't think, any timeouts from them today. They have been very anti-timeout. Granted, we thought there were rounds that would have tilted them that, in fact, did not. It spurred them on instead, so... I would say they haven't necessarily needed them, but I would love to see them nonetheless. I would love to see a timeout at any point. And this time, going into the next round would be prudent. Over. Just a stall for this one. Minute left. Four at the ramp, grouped up and ready. Down below. And Sixy now has a lot to do. Spring, he's going to hold his ground. He does lots of damage, but doesn't get a kill. Marquis Deagle, not a one deagle, but it's still a kill nonetheless. And CJ drops Ben lead as well in the meanwhile. Puddle and Dop has to do a lot. And with the smoke, the guy is the crossing. He can't do anything. Viz at the ramp. Good for one before he's done. Chop and Pone alone. Pick up the pieces. And I'm not sure how Nouns have made this round competitive. They find ways with the weaker buys, and Chop just finds a way to get lucky. The lineup, and now it's up to Marky. His magical deagle. It lands one, but not the second. Pone alone salvages it, but it's a very costly round victory for, for the party astronauts, and they will have to... Actually, no, they've got a lot of money left over. That's not too bad. That actually a lot better than it could have they been otherwise. They won like two, four alive, I think. So they had that yeah. economy built up. But, got to dip into those coffers, and the CT side is a very expensive side to be on. They're smart. They forego the helmets. But they don't. Even though Nouns were on pistols, and they got the bomb plant with max loss bonus, they go for helmets across the board. That is a $350 times what? Five? No, four, because Punnel already had it. 350 times four. Which is 12 plus two, $1,400 that could have been saved. Yep. On the CT side, you can really get nickeled and dimed. They need to be careful and be more prudent with their money. But we'll see if it actually comes into a factor. Going to be AKs across the board for nouns. Yet to see the op for Cynic. He had a killer map one. He's been. Very absent on map two. Ben Leeton Poet alone chiming in early on in round number nine. Double man advantage again for the party astronaut. Sixty out towards ramp. One and a half on the barky. Viz is also joined the party. Bit of a messy spray, but he does come up with this in the end. And both kills. Four alive again for the party astronaut. Six in a row. And where is the timeout from either from now? Where is their timeout? The question we've been asking in every series they played today. 
Is Semphis here? Can we get a Semphis so. check? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. You might explain it all. Cynic outside finally has the open hand. Misses the shot though when the player jumping by secret. Up jigs up and six C swings. Cynic an uncharacteristic miss looking far more uncomfortable on map number two. Pone alone finds another this time towards ramp and downs like a chicken without their head. No clear direction, waffling back and forth. No real kills to be spoken of. I'm gonna try to go out towards A. Carson, spear out of this play does give them some hope to grasp onto. Two kills found, on plant secured, but still a long ways to go in this round number 10. A lot of time left on that bomb timer. And there's kits on all three remaining party astronauts players, bent up in heaven expected. Utility being tossed in, Carson holding in towards Mini, but Ben has walked on out. B was as a lineup, but he gets nothing at all. Defuse with plenty of time. Seven in a row now. Four party astronauts. Nouns look lost. They look directionless. A ship without a tiller. And party astronauts. It looks like they've rebooted their settings. They've rebooted the mainframe. Their ship is back online. It is, and I'm just wondering once again, why did Downs pick this map? Maybe they were emboldened by their convincing victory last night. That's hardly a reason to pick it. Seems to me like they really I mean, were trying to just play to yesterday's stats rather than the reality of their own comfortability on the map. They also did beat Team 1, Strife, and Pain in recent history as well. So... They have they barely beat pain in overtime, double overtime. But it is pain we're talking about here. Pain's a top 20 team. It's true. Maybe this is the changeup now instead. A run down secret from Cynic, literally stomping. Mows down the first six. He trades it though. He's been on fire. Four party astronauts all night. Viz gets taken down by Marky though. Carson, another one as Marky gets chopped. The fast paced, aggressive nouns has found a way in. And Sixy, 1v4. Probably just gonna head for the door. Leave this one to the next round and let that bomb go tick, tick, boom. An exotic rifle to bring into the next. It makes sense. His teammates also don't have the best economy. Looking at Chop at 1400. Right, we're over to him, but no such luck. Carson voracious on the hunt. We said we saw a different nouns on map number one, a disciplined nouns. Something else I noticed specifically on their T side, even though they were winning rounds, what was it? 14 one by the end of it? Were they on CT for 14 one or CT? I can't remember. Uh, they were on CT for the start okay. of overpass. Okay. But on the T side, they didn't hunt like they normally did in their first best of three. It seems to me like here and now they're back to their usual antics. They're back to that more aggressive, again, I'm gonna use the same word, cocksure style, and they're back to their voracious hunting style as well. I think that last round is very much evidence of that. Sixy won't let that loss deter him though. Towards the ramp, he'll spam the smoke and find Cynic to open things up. Downs, again, back to the trenches. Outer yard smokes being prepped. Looking like they want to audible things down secret. Ben is outside, though. And he will reposs with the shallow smokes. Molotov towards secret. A little premature, but he's got an angle. Back towards red. It's all about the timing, though. He goes back to smoke towards squeaky. He's missed the boat, Nate. Oh, he catches him on the fade. That's information. That's one. For... It's one. They're ready. Pono no one's here. If it's down the vents, yeah, they're ready for it. Three more will get by as Pono bins the ranks. So another. Uh, is that a collateral? It is a collateral. It's just one, Marky. One Navy 5. Everybody's here. And the site is full. Bomb at their feet, no less. No chance in that round for Marky. It's a clean and flawless one for party astronauts. They built up a bounteous CT economy. And they've guaranteed themselves an advantage in this first half, but they definitely want more. Nine, ten. They even say eleven 
given how they've been playing. 11 would be a great resurgence for the party astronauts and for nouns. Quite a fall off. This is a lot of Counter Strike for both of these two teams over the past couple of days, and the winner gets a huge boost of not having to play two best of threes tomorrow, potentially. And if Nouns can win it faster, that would be better for them going into tomorrow. A little more rest. Deep Smoke's thrown for the cross this time. Ben holding outside. Viz removed by Marquee. Ben not spraying. Might go for a bit of a push through that smoke. In the meantime, Carson caught by the Alpha Pone alone. Sixy probing catches and knapping B Wills with instantaneous trade 3v3. The Op catches the bomb though, and that's a problem. It falls forward through Trophy. At the feet of Poen alone, he's holding the angle. Marky 1v3, wide into the open. Poen alone deals with the threat. CT side, strong start for PA. And they continue to put the pedal to the metal. Nouns can buy up again, but they will lack utility. And really, their variations on takes have been quite poor. I don't think I've seen a full-on A execute from Nouns this entire half. Yeah, but we've seen the, the pussy footing in towards door with the spam. You know? Just the waiting, the waffling, no clear direction is the biggest criticism we have. And finally, we see the aggressive towards A. Out the door, Cynic goes. Smoke to masquerade the Molotov. Marky a double on the exit. C CJ does go down, but Cynic picks up where they left off. Ben Lee dropped. Hone alone in 6C. Left to try and retake, and at this point, they might even consider the save. Money is not the best on this CT side, and then a two versus four, it just really doesn't seem feasible. You said nouns need a direction. They really showed us one. A quick play out towards A is the winning recipe. It gets them back on the board. Oh, no. He's still hungry. He's snacking on the exit. He wills does get the trade, however. Six, he might actually go for something as well. No. Still hanging back. An audacious call from the party yeah. astronauts to go for those kinds of exits. They really don't have too much money. Actually, it's the last one of the half. What am I saying? They have enough. Biz will struggle. But What about 60? Oh, yeah. They both do <laughs> find themselves in a predicament. Chop can drop one, I'm pretty sure. And he does. The other is going to be left high and dry. Not the worst gun to have. Five, seven. Not ideal, sure, but it's not bad. 4-4 four, four in the other game. We're already at halftime there at the halfway mark of the half, the quarterway mark of a series, or a map, I should say. Cynic has a backstep on Potalo. Ben napping at the wheel, lets his teammate die. Chop bails out his teammate up on top, but he goes down, as does Viz. 3v2. Ben has been revealed. Six, he mullied out of heaven. He's only on a 5-7. Now it's a fast bust in towards the ace set again. Looking to get a sixth out of this half and make it a lot more reasonable. Six rounds about par for the course you want on a T side of Nuke. And with half HP on 60 down to 10 HP now. It's all the curtain. CJ? E CJ. He was not walking. Terrorists win. My lord. The spam well, being spam to win the hat to win the round. That's that's a messy finish for nouns, but they claw back to six. Do they have the pistol? Find out after the break.
keep your picture in my room Cause it gets me in the mood You still have free, free in my head You got me so confused My mind is full of you Still want you in my room Don't wanna get rid of you Slipping away, I learned the hard way. But something's gotta stay. Don't let it go to waste. Do you remember all of the long nights, warming my bed? Not for the sunrise, that's what you said. You held me so tight, it's time again. I think you could hear from our intonations that last round of the first half was a bit stupefying, but here we are. We're back. We've recollected ourselves. We do have a pause. <laughs> All right, as we get back, uh, classic. Pineapple Phillips and Boggs on the mic. And nouns, given how uninspired and derivative their first half, their tea side looked, a six to nine scoreline is honestly far better than you might have expected. It didn't look fluid. It looked kind of lost, kind of a uh, cocky and aggressive without clear direction, though. But it didn't rectify that in the end by saying go A and they have redeemed themselves to an acceptable degree. We'll have to see what they have planned here in the pistol. It is one set of utility for the T side. Will we see a kit for nouns on the CC? Uh, I'm going to assume we're going to see a lot of duallys, double duallys here for nouns. I don't know if we're going to see anything kit wise. I have a feeling no. Well, while we're waiting, we can tune into our other matchup, Detonate versus ATK. Uh, Detonate. Not exactly having the strongest CT side, which could be a bit of an issue, but here we go. Teams can buy up here. Looks like Match Medic has initiated if there was one. Either way, 10 seconds on that freeze time timer while ATK and Detonate are on a technical pause. So they should be tuning into us, tuning into them momentarily. <laughs> that would be quite the stream. I would love to see that, actually. Streamception. No yeah. duallys for nouns, just armor? Full armor. Not even a get. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my night is ruined. Duallys have found nothing throughout the series we watched today. And Carson, he is uh, tremendous on the USB. Finds one CJ, and B-Wells also chiming in. Podolum traded on Carson, but not that much. It's a quick flank in. It's a lobby crunch and a resounding shutout from Nouns. They start things off right on their CT side as well. I believe that's both pistol rounds taken by the Nouns side in this map, too. And they are now only trailing by a pair of rounds as they can very quickly tie up the ball game here. And another technical pause. Nouns can't get anything going. So back to Destinate ATK we go. Hats off to our production crew for setting this up. Because this is not something you normally get on an online tournament like this. A close qualifier. And they really put in a lot of work to get this done. It's cool to be able to catch on what's going on in the other series. Yeah, there's a lot of writing on this series as well, as we mentioned. This is the lower final. This is an elimination matchup between Detonate and ATK. 
Micro, it did a double op as well for yeah. detonate. I didn't even realize he's the B anchor for the most part, and he's on A with an op. Uh, this game definitely is uh, upending expectations from what we saw in their first series versus now. It's paying off. Just DJ 1v4. Nothing to do there. Micro. Solid on the op. That matchup looks like a banger, Boggs. It has been neck and neck on both maps. Sure, ATK pulled ahead in the end on map one to get 16-12, but six apiece on Mirage. That one has been very contentious, unlike our opening map of Overpass. Our opening map was anything but contentious. And it looks like we're going to keep getting back into our own game momentarily here. Double rifles for nouns, MP9s on three, it's Mac 10s on two, and triple tech nines for the party astronauts. And this is going to be interesting. It's a very critical second round for nouns. And for PA, this is where they can start to establish a lead yet again and take control of this map, try and go into that third and final, which would be Mirage if we do get there. Nate does a little bit of chip damage. Carson around ramp. One aggressive, but he gets domed by a Tech 9. Marky flashed away in through J Hall. And party astronauts do a wise move here. They don't take a ramp fight. They don't fight into J Hall. They bust down to the B site and make sure they get that control. Make sure they get the bomb down and don't lose people on unnecessary fights. It's a very heads up play from them. Cynic, he's down waiting in double doors in this 4v4. There's no kid on now either. That's an issue as. Time can quickly get away from them. They're going to have to fight their way through. A smoke to the right side. CJ removed. Oh, this should be a save at this point for now. There's no reason to go back into this, especially now that Beals has fallen. Marky gets one on the M4, but he's traded out by Sixy. Disastrous round for Nouns and Party Astronauts. Make it a case that they want to go to Mirage. A resounding response. Keep in mind, there was no bomb plant to facilitate Galils in this round. It was like Tech 9s for the yeah, most tech part. Tech 9s and two Mac 10s. Yeah, scrappy. And they make it work. A very quick dive down to B. Nets the double digits for the T side of party astronauts. And downs, they feel compelled to invest in response. Now, we have talked about it throughout the whole of this day. The miracle Marky Deagle. Do we see it come through? No, he goes for the 5-7 instead. We'll see if he can have a similar performance with that pistol. He will and CJ instead of taking the Deagles, and as is Carson. So there's still a lot of potential one digs coming into this round. Simic on that M4 needs to be a rock. Marquis 5-7. Can it do any monkey business? Spraying away is Marky. He does catch off one, but he burns alive for his troubles. Unfortunate, but his 5 7 now rest on the ground. Chop with two huge kills. Sprays for the third through the smoke onto CJ. I believe there was a sound cue or some shots, or it's just a great bit of intuition. Carson, last man alive. Deagle in hand. Bomb down to B, though, so Chop is vulnerable. But not to be undone. Four kills in the round for Chop. And PA up by four rounds on party at, or on nouns now, who are going to be on an eco. If they're not, I'm going to lose my mind. They've got to be. No pause called either. Important to note. Get to see a pause, I think, at all in this series. I'd have seen a one for so. party astronauts, but I don't think so. It doesn't matter what the buy is of Party Astronauts. All you have to know is that it's better than Nouns, who have next to nothing. One Miracle Deag on Cynic, one P250 on Marky. Party Astronauts should be comfortable finding a 12th here and extending their lead to five. Carson tagged down to half on his USP. It's just about doing damage for nouns right now. CJ's tap steal, nothing at all. Sixy diving down. Takes a little bit of damage, but his Molotov will go to flush anybody out of position. Already down, secret is one. Ben holding down. Lots of map control taken. Spots at the player unbreakable. Taking the contact. But no kills just yet for either side. Finally, Sixy will open things up with a double out towards the yard and garage. Carson might be his third victim, but it's just, just, just a swarm of the astronauts taking control of the nuke site. 
And there's not much that Noun's gonna really do in this round, especially now that the Deeple's on the ground. And they barely done any damage. Oh, there's one. Here's a kill. Alone though, rat tat tat with the MB9 immediately finds his compatriot. D Willis is mortally wounded. Nothing much to do here. Arky might find one. I jumped to six C or somebody else, but no chop. Chop's B Will's jumping around with an act ten. There's the 50 swinging in. No damage done. Good shot from Viz. Four players survive. Very good for this T-side economy. 12th round secured. Nouns a chance at bat finally. M4 is on three. Probably all five if I had to guess. Will there be a kit? That is the important caveat. No. There will be no kit for this CT side. They have to win by attrition. And if a retake is necessary, it has to be very quick. Or the round will get away from them. This map is quickly giving away from them, too. Four rounds for party astronauts and a map three. No kit, no off for the CT side. Aggression in the flashbang early or late, depending on how you look at it. Either way, Snick's dead and gone. Pone alone takes some damage, but he's not dead just yet. The op makes it a one-shot easily. Doesn't have to worry about that HP. CJ, one outer yard, though, and he will drop down. Spots another player up towards Silo. Sprays away, but he can't get the player up top. Chop will back away, but two players wounded. Carson re-aggressing in towards Trophy. Has to be careful. Six around the corner. It domes him. That's a lot of space gain now. Aggression from nouns they're undoing. A man advantage for party astronauts. Smoke into Jay. In full control of the ramp area for the T side. Fizz sprays on to CJ. He doesn't pick it up. Does a lot of damage, but not quite a kill. But that could just force Nouns into a save, as there's no chance they stop the bomb going down on B. They don't know how much damage they have done, and they do not have that kit as you so astutely noted. This is going to be 13-7. No doubt. Question is, will they get to save three rifles? Seems like they will be allowed to do so. I can't imagine 6 Z will be keen on hunting. And this is what we talked about nouns when they get aggressive, when they get disjointed, when they just press for information alone and without utility. That's when they begin to fall apart. That's when they begin to falter. And right now they are most certainly faltering. That push from Carson, unwarranted and unneeded, it really does seal the deal in favor of party astronauts, even if they find that pick in response towards the, the squeaky door. 13-7, six round lead established for party astronauts. Three rifles will be saved for nouns at the very least. If they want a chance on this map, they have to put their foot down now. Giving a 14th simply does not leave enough room for nouns to breathe. Two fluke, random, individual plays or lucky calls will be enough to get party astronauts across the line from there. That is simply too big a risk for nouns to run. They're going in again here. MP9 on Cynic, M4s on the rest. A kit has been picked up for Carson, which makes a retake a little more likely. Nades in, and that's a triple nade stack on the B wheels. He hits the dirt. Aggression from Cynic dealt with adequately. Party astronauts dismantling the pushes of nouns. Only one in response from the CT side as their aggression, their pincer in on lobby, the crunch. It runs in to an immovable object. And it can do nothing. Doubled up now are the party astronauts on nouns. And I think we're going to see Mirage here, Nate. I do not see a world where nouns come back on this map. I'm already looking forward to Mirage. Truly. Feels like I kind of been clocked out for a while. They've not been impressing me. Talk about the Opera of Cynic, who had, what, nearly 30 kills on map one? Nothing here. Yep. He hasn't had an Opera digits. Game. No, they haven't picked up an op. That's the craziest thing. Well, they haven't been no. able to afford it on this half. Well, a little bit more scrupulous money management would have easily gotten them there by the stage. You had oh, so yes. many rounds that they could have just saved a little bit more cash in the bank. And it would have been an entirely different story. Four versus four. At least something done in this round. A tied ball game, even if it still favors the T's. Cone alone, it's his map to shine with the op in hand.
Slow walk from party astronauts. They know they're in control of the momentum. They will control the pace as well. They're comfortable doing so. Where is Viz? He's down below. Did he get as the inside man? Yes, he did. He's down the vents. Mm -hmm. That makes things very scary for now. So the hidden player down below doesn't seem like it. Instead, they're just slowly pressing in towards the lobby. They are at least playing together this time. What does this control mean? Not much. CJ, you rotate around. Very, very timely in doing so. Go play underneath. Carson is here to support as well. Good read from Nouns. Well timed. Let's go up top, Silo. Get back in that corner, Carson. And this could be a solid hold from the Nouns defense. Utility being used in. CJ can't get the shot, though. Ben traded out, but Chop comes in. B-Will's only good for one. Marky in a 1v2. Viz is low, and time is down very low, but Pone alone has the op, and he now knows where Marky's going to come from. Door opened. Marky into the op scope, and down on the ground. Map point to party astronauts. Pone alone and friends are destroying nouns. And there has been nothing Nouns can do to really do anything in response. They have been demolished every turn of this game. And Mirage is going to be our decider most assuredly. Unless Nouns can win eight in a row and take this to overtime. But again, no kit, no utility, no real firepower, no op, no direction. He set up so well there. And yet, no dice. They lose the opening duel, and from there, it's just retaliatory trades. Retaliatory trades and an even footing does not work out. In the end, it turns into a 1v1, and if the trend is to continue, as it did, it ends in Party Astronaut's favor. 15-7, 16-7, looking likely at this point, with Cynic falling and Beagles as low as he is. CJ out in the yard. No luck either. 6C taking him down. A heck of a map for 6C as well, might I add. Everybody from Party Astronauts having their moments. Everybody as well is positive or thereabouts. Viz is negative by one kill, but still respectable 15, 16, all things considered. And Nouns, and three versus five, there's no opportunity to save at this point. There is no safe harbor. If you lose this round, you're out of it and on to Mirage. And at this point, I think they're going to Mirage, whether they like to or not. I think Party they would have liked to end it fast, but that obviously isn't gonna happen. Try peeking into the op again, too. It's not the first time. It's not. It probably will be the last time on this map, but Pone alone has had a lot of duels where he's been peeked by a rifle. He's not going to miss that. There you go. 16-7. Party astronauts put the pain on nouns. And that's a map to forget for nouns. Much like Overpass was a map to forget for party astronauts, neither team able to get much done. It's almost like you replaced... If you would have changed like the team logos, but had the same...